Unfortunately, today our education system has become like this. We think every... everything, every damn thing that you need to know in your life is in a book. If you think everything is in a book, you are a religious person. You are not a student, you are not an agriculturist, because these farmers know more about agriculture than somebody who's done PhD in agriculture. They never read a book on agriculture, they lived here, so they know. Similarly, I lived here, I lived on the land, I spent a lot of time in the jungles in Western Ghats. Being born and brought up in Mysore, Kaveri become a part of my life. From the age of twelve to seventeen, almost every day I swam in Kaveri. Once I floated down Kaveri for thirteen days on just four truck tubes and a few bamboos, hundred and sixty-three kilometers, thirteen days, I lived off the river. Uh, in my experience, the river was not just a source of water, it is a life by itself, far bigger life than you and me. What is happening in it and around it is too incredible for any human being to even articulate and understand. It is too phenomenal what's happening. But today you have all kinds of dinghies and boats and everything, you can use something better than me. I only had four truck tubes <laughs> But uh, you can use something better and you must just float down Kaveri once, observing, not just quickly on a speedboat. Slowly, taking ten, fifteen days, you will understand how a river is made. What makes a river? It's not some kind of science that you read in a book. It is here if you pay attention, it's all here. So I spent a lot of time initially riding on a bicycle, then motorcycle powered me up to ride across the country many times. So, I know the land well. If you feel the land, you know what the land needs for its well-being. It doesn't take a genius to understand that if you watch these in different seasons, this green leaf will turn brown and fall down, where does it go? Not one or two, millions of tons of leaves are falling down. Where does it go? That's the soil, that's the richness of the soil. And millions of animals, wild and otherwise, all of them shit. Hello? Where does it go? That is the soil. Without leaf and human… I mean human also, human and animal excrement, there is no soil. Soil will become sand. So minimum, the United Nations says this, I don't agree with this. United Nations says for soil to be called a soil, there must be at least two percent organic content. You ask the farmer who puts his… you know, you must see how the farmers with what joy they put their hand into soil mixed with manure and say, wow, it's so rich. You ask them how much should be the percentage, if it is five to eight percent, you will see just about anything grows.